child care here baby care is different no plenty bathing and with soap massaging they won't just tell you start brushing the child's teeth protect the child from getting choked and start with it they'll actually give you hello everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here I am a PhD student in Sweden and I make videos about lifestyle and studies in Sweden. I have a friend here who just arrived, a new student. I think you are just one week. One yeah, week. One week. So we're going to get right into it. Can you introduce yourself? Hello everyone. My name is Chumoke Osibwane. I'm a Nigerian. I just came into Sweden last week with my family. Wow. I'm a master's student of um, Gothenburg University. Great. So today I just want to share with you something that I saw very different about um, baby care in Sweden. The information that I received in the clinics, in the healthcare centers here in Sweden. Some of them are very surprising and I, I just wanted to share with you. You know when you have babies in Africa, you have to bathe them every day with soap, use some hot water, bath them morning and evening. And after, yeah, the baby's in the background, so he'll so come and greet you very soon. You bath them and you you, you, you have to massage them, massage them, put their hand on their back and their legs, and then you put some shea butter, you massage them very well so that they sleep well. Hmm. When I gave birth here in Sweden, they said, don't bath the child with soap just water just put oil i said what uh, you know when you when you, there's oil on you you feel like yes you are not comfortable it's like it's sticky but here they say don't bath them with soap. with soap just water and the water you can put oil so that their skin will not be dry this is because the weather here is super dry for children and uh, for babies especially so you they they tell you that don't bath them with soap because soap dries the skin and even the water they tell you don't bath them often once or twice a week darling are you coming are you coming to join the video come come and join the video when i put when i bath him with just water and i put oil it's like i feel that he's not comfortable so i try to use soap sometimes and then his skin broke out Mm. And like, I didn't know what to do again. I went to the hospital. They told me that we said don't bath them with soap. Soap dries the skin. Mm. In Africa, the weather or West Africa, the weather is very humid. And if you don't bath uh, with soap, you feel like you are not clean. Yeah, you feel it's, it's very sticky there. But here it's dry. So I had to listen to them. So I don't bath my son with soap, just water and oil. But yeah, that's what happens. Uh, and when you give birth, they also give you um, vitamin D drops, and you have to give them these drops every day, five drops, because sun is not so much here, and they need the children need vitamin D, especially when you give birth in winter and the fall when the sun is not always up. It's important that you give them the vitamin D for their bone development and everything. Mm, oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, and that's 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 that one surprising thing is when my child started sitting at six months and I went to the hospital, they said that I can start potty training. Wow, when do you do potty training in Nigeria? Yeah, yeah normally when the child yeah. starts speaking yes. and can explain something, yes. and you start telling the child that don't do it here. Do it in the potty and then, but they said as soon as the child sits, so it's a good tip for everybody in any, any other part of the world. So far as the child can sit, start, start training them on the on the potty, and at that at that moment they are just sitting, they are not falling, so don't run away. Okay. <laughs> you know sometimes when they when you start training them and they are old, as soon as you put them on the potty, they get up yes, and, of and they go. Yeah, so I was surprised, but I started and it's it's working. As soon as I see the sign, if you're a mom, you know how the sign is. As soon as you see the sign, just put them on it. And he's already doing the do. Really? <laughs> yeah, he's doing uh, the do. I, I, I have a potty there. As soon as I see the sign, I just put him on it. And then he, he, does, he does it. 
so by the time he's one year, he's used to doing that doing it. in the in the bottom of him as well. <laughs> and when he, he he became eight months and we went to the the hospital. This time I have props to show. These are the things they gave me. He has two little teeth. <laughs> And then they said that they give they will tell you they will give you what you even use. They tell you that you have to start brushing the child's teeth. Mm -hmm. They have to just to they give you a toothbrush, they give you a, a, a toothpaste, and then they also give you this. They said that this is for testing if that if that something will choke the child. Mm -hmm. But I thought that as a mother you should know that this should choke the child. Yes, no. <laughs> but they say if you if if you are not sure, put it here, and if it goes all the way down. Hmm. Then it means that it can choke the child. When I saw it in the child, I thought it was just a cup. No, using it's for checking if it will, if something will choke the child. Besides, it's first world problems. <laughs> and then they they give a book a book to you. They ask me, is are you reading to a child? And I said yes. I said that it's a good practice. They give you a book. They won't just tell you start brushing the child's teeth, protect the child from getting choked. And start with it. They'll actually give you so you don't have an excuse. Then you can start. They want the children as early as eight months to start learning and getting used to dental care. It's amazing, right? Yes, it is. And yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you. And the child care here, baby care is different. No plenty bathing and with soap, massaging. When I don't bath them with soap, I see that there's improvement. Mm. Mm. So the weather is very dry here. So if, even adults, you there's a, a, a special cream that I use here. If I use the other mm -hmm. creams, the skin becomes dry. Yeah. So that's what I want to share with you. Maybe you would it will be helpful to you when you're coming, or just for your curiosity how babies are cared for here. Yeah. Maybe later I'll talk about how to keep them warm and so on. But that's for another video. Thank you for watching. And if you think it's it's something I should be doing, this is not this is not very common on my channel. But if you think it's something that is, is interesting for you, let me know so that I'll be giving you some of these parental and baby care, child care here. Now he's putting something in his mouth. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> bye. Hey, hey Dua. Will you say hey, will you say hey, bye to them? Come. Come and say goodbye. He's crawling. Come. Say goodbye. <laughs> That's his goodbye. <laughs> his wife. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do more videos, subscribe. If you want to be notified for next videos, hit the notification bell. And adios. Hey door, BCS. <laughs>